Hi, this is Rob, Longevity Learning Lab, and this is part two of my motorized turntable. Now, on the last episode, we cut our, our rim that's going to be our table top, right? Well, now we need to drive that. So, from that rim, I've got the old hub, right? Actually, two of them, because I got two rims, but we're just using one. So, with the hub, it'll fit right up underneath. And so when we hook up the gear and the chain, boom, there you go, rotating. And then we'll put the top on it that will hold the work down. But the thing is, with the hub, I've got this little stubby part of the, the axle. Well, it's been pressed into this hub because this is cast, and then you got the little key slot in there, but this thing is so old, I didn't want to knock it off because it's got the machine little keyway in there. So I'm gonna save that and a little keeper ring. So I left this alone, but I need more length on the shaft. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna weld this piece of round stock onto it. But I wanna keep it as straight as I can, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna bevel both ends and we'll fit it together and we're gonna weld it up. But then, after that, where is it? We're gonna take another little sleeve and that'll give it a little bit more, you know, oomph to it. And that'll go on like that. But before do, we do that, we wanna go ahead and make sure that the, the rod is as true as you can, you know, as linear as you can. But it's not rocket science, but it's, you still want it to keep from wobbling. So I'm gonna show you how to make a little fast fixture on that just with some, some channel and a nice flat straight surface and we'll, we'll clamp the two pieces together, clamp them down, weld them up and that way we make sure it's nice and straight. And it's real fast, real simple and uh, let's do that and uh, be right back. Okay, well here's our axle in the hub and then you can see we're gonna be welding it right through here and there's a bevel on both pieces. We're gonna fill that in just on this side right here. And then we have to make sure that our hub is still at a 90 degree relative to you know, the, um, the rim, the tabletop it's gonna be. So I've got that set up. And then behind it, I've got a piece of angle iron and I made sure that was all a 90 degree to the table, all through here. And then underneath the rod, I've got a little small piece of channel to hold it nice in place so it's not gonna move on you. And I did have to shim it up a little bit here and over here, just so when I clamp it, it's all nice and tight. And I squared it up with a bigger framing square coming this direction with it. And so now what I'm gonna do is TIG weld it right here across this half of the, the rod, and then we'll let it cool down. Then I'll roll it over, grind it down a little bit, then roll it over and clamp it down again and finish welding it and let it cool down. So that way it's clamped as much as you can. So let me get my TIG welder and we'll, we'll weld it up. Okay, here we go. We're gonna make our first little couple of passes here. We're gonna go just across the top of it and then we're gonna let it stay clamped down. So we'll go ahead, run the bead. You, you want, the way I beveled it, that way you can get better, better penetration on it. So let's make a bead here. And I'm running at about 125 right now. You want to watch your heat. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn my heat up just a little bit. A little bit hotter. There we go. Get good penetration in there. Don't be scared of it. Back and forth. I'll let that cool down a little bit, I'll come back again. See, that way we know it's set. We just build it up. Now we're gonna end up grinding a lot of this away because I'm gonna put a sleeve over it. And then we'll let that sit there for a little bit and we'll be done with this side. And then that's, that part's done for now. We'll let it sit. 
And then here's the second side. Now I let it really cool down and then I'll grind the, the seam right there. I'll grind that nice and clean and flush because then I'm going to have a sleeve that I'll slide over it and then I'll run the beads on that. And that'll be the next thing. I'll show you. Okay, well there it's welded and ground a little bit. It's just a rough ground of grinding. And so what I do now, I got my little sleeve here and I just slide that over the center of it and then I'll run a bead around both sides of that. And then we'll check it for trueness and uh, this gives it just a little bit more oomph because here's your seam and then I, even though I got the penetration, eh, for my own peace of mind I just want to put a little, a little bit more um, sturdiness to it. So let me weld this up and then um, our drive shaft is finished. Okay, now we got our axle. I cleaned it up, checked it for squareness. Looks pretty good to me. So now we got the two parts of my table. Now this part here the, on the shaft, I really don't know how high I want it yet. Because you figure the rim's going to go like that and then the axle is going to go right there. And it'll pivot pretty straight. I was going to put the lug nuts on there just to make sure everything was good, but uh, like they always tell me here at the shop, they say I'm missing a lug nut. So uh, anyway, that's uh, the end of part two on my turntable. And uh, thanks for joining me. I'm Rob, and I'll see you next time on Longevity Learning Lab.